Uh huh, honey. Hey friends! So as you probably know by now, I went to Japan. And I figured why not share some of the things I learned about Japan with y'all. So keep on watching. The first thing I learned is that the Japanese love vending machines. They have high-tech vending machines. Very They live for vending machines. And um, I think it was Coleman who said they rack in like a trillion dollars a year with said. So if you're in an emergency situation and you don't have a street name, the vending machines have numbers on them. So you can call the authorities and be like, okay, I'm by vending machine 865 and someone's dying, please come fast. So it's kind of like a safety system too. Also, it's very humid in Japan, so the need for water is very great. So you can get water on every corner when it's 40 above. Something I learned that meant a lot to me um, as a future educator is that teachers get paid more than doctors. That's right, so uh, maybe I should go teach in Japan. Some other interesting facts about their education system is that the kids start walking to school when they're very young. You know, crime rate is low, so you'll see little four or five year olds walking to school with their really high tech expensive backpacks and um, it's just normal. Also, there's no custodian in the school so kids are taught to pick up after themselves which is an important skill and uh, it you know it probably <laughs> diminishes the mess because you know kids don't want to clean up more than they have to right education is highly highly valued they teach moral classes about taking care of the world around them school runs Monday through Saturday and there's only one month of summer vacation which my tour guide said is great for the parents but the teachers have a lot of work the whole year. Like I said, the Japanese do value the environment. They love keeping it clean. They want to protect their planet. They recycle. That being said, however, even though their streets are very clean, you don't see garbage anywhere, there are no garbage cans on the street because in the 80s there was an attack. Someone had put like poisonous gases in the garbage cans and it killed thousands of people, maybe even millions. So after that they decided like we don't want to have this risk for our people and they got rid of the garbage cans on the street. So if you have garbage you gotta like find a restaurant or something to put it in. Another thing we all learned is that shrines are very very important. Uh, just to, you know, practice their religion and customs before going into the shrine. yen which is roughly one dollar Canadian and you would shake this little thing and pull out a stick and then on the stick it would say what would help you or you'd find your own fortune now if your fortune was good which all mine were thank the Lord <laughs> Victoria and I were quite nervous about that then you could be on your way and you know have your fortune live your life get whatever it said you'd get but if your fortune is bad you'd have to tie it on this little like kind of like, metal line tie it there, never look at it again, and walk away. And you know, you don't want bad luck. The Japanese people believe strongly in luck. We were rubbing coins and fountains and such for luck, but not the 10 yen coin because that is bad luck. Hard to keep track of, but luckily our tour guide guided us through all this so that we would have the best fortune possible. I learned that arigato gozaimasu means thank you very much in Japanese. Also bowing is kind of seen as a hello, as a sign of respect. They don't shake hands, more so bow. And you don't maintain eye contact during these bows. We did a lot of bowing, even to each other, to say thank you, to say hello, just to show respect. And it was, the people there are so, so polite and friendly and happy. It was wonderful to see. I learned that raw fish tastes like raw fish. You know, 
I'm sure it's really great. The crime rate in Japan is very, very low. In fact, most of the crimes that do occur are intelligent crimes, such as credit card fraud or hacking. There was a fellow in our tour group who lost his wallet in one of the stores we had been to, and by the end of the day, he got it back at one of these police boxes. There's police boxes on almost every corner in the big cities, and um, people are very honest because they believe in karma. So that's why everyone behaves so well, because they know it'll get back on them if they don't. They have a lot of 600-year-old trees, and you know, they're... in such a way. Trees can thrive for more than 500 years. When people pass away, they only cremate the bodies in Japan. We did go to an ancient graveyard. It was very interesting to see. All of the um, tombstones for children who passed away had these little red hats and aprons. It's interesting to see how other cultures deal with death. Thinking of messing with a police officer? I wouldn't, because they all have their black belts in Japan. Martial arts are highly valued, and uh, if you gotta be a cop, you gotta know your stuff. Geishas are Japanese performers, very, very popular and very, very expensive. You don't want to touch one because they can cost something like $1,000 an hour. However, if the bow is in the front, They're just a performer. I learned that McDonald's is better in Japan. The chicken nuggets were so food at that fast food chain in Japan. Alcohol is cheap and accessible in Japan. They do believe that people are very honest, so when I went and I got some at the 7-Eleven, because I could, you know, just open up the fridge, grab my Smirnoff ice, and head to the counter, they trusted that I was of age because, like I said again, karma. Also, you know, you could just go to the vending machines for alcohol, which again, would not work here in Canada. That would be a gong show. It's wonderful that they have so much trust in their people. They have monkey crossings in Japan, but monkeys are bad, as her tour guide said. Uh, she was pretty scarred. Um, as a child, a monkey had tried to steal her lunch because those little things are very greedy, she revealed. So uh, you, you gotta beware of monkeys. They might just cross in front of you on the street, you know? It's Japan. When wearing a kimono, you want to make sure your left flap is over the But we did not see Mount Fuji. It was a cloudy day. Looking guy in your group, the mountain will be visible because the princess or something of the mountain is looking for a life mate and uh, she wants a good looking guy, as we all do. So uh, if there's a good looking guy, she's like, oh, you can see my mountain. But if not, she's like, mm, clouds, I'm not messing with you. So uh, fortunately, I guess we didn't have any good looking guys with us because we did not see Mount Fuji. However, on the flight in, we did see it, so. Tokyo actually means we learned about tea too. If you're invited to a high tea, you got to appreciate the cup you have because there's so many different cups out there and the patterns are so precise and detailed and well thought out and artistic that every time you go you'll get a different cup and it goes by season so when you get that cup it's really a once in a lifetime thing that you have and when you're drinking it you want to rotate it so that you don't destroy the most beautiful part of the tea. The samurai were the ancient warriors, and the shogun was the highest warrior. We actually visited so well because my friends in Quebec would always go to two different places, one called samurai sushi and one called shogun sushi. Japan is the world leader of robots. And we might take over the world, but that's just how I think. <laughs> and the last thing I'll leave you with is to not give the thumbs up in Japan because it does not mean 
good job, good day, good show, it means something else. But, you know, I had the bad habit of doing it because with that language barrier, I would want to say, oh, it's good, it's good, but I wouldn't know how to say that, so I would go like, you know, but that's bad. You want to do this. That means right on. So, uh, just a fair warning. <laughs> Don't start doing this. You might offend people. See you.